get down to brass tacks. Uh. All of you are first formers, second formers, and also the fourth formers, of course. So, in our class, in our class sessions, we use a lot of slides, right? We yeah. see Google slides a lot. Yeah. We often use them, but the problem is, and what makes me feel agitated, is a lot of you agitated. don't know how to prepare slides. So, with my project called the demonstration talk, I will demonstrate to you. Demon, demon. I will demonstrate to you how to make impactful slides. Okay, so. First, do you want to learn how? Okay, so. Ask them a question. Do you want to learn how? Yeah! yeah. Of course, you want to learn how. Okay, of course. So, firstly, the title. How do we make, how do you make the title interesting? So, first of all, font type. Okay, do you guys know what font is? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so usually Google Slides provides you with error font, but most of you want to go fancy. You go, uh, you go clicking on fancy uh, stuff like uh, architect's daughter or architect daughter, <laughs> or even caveat as you can see here. It's very curvy. But the problem is, but if you use this font type, choose this font type that's curvy. Uh, if you choose a font type that's cursive, that's curvy, <coughs> teachers sometimes they cannot read it. Sometimes the words seem too alien. Right? <coughs> uh, for example, sometimes these words they seem so alien, so weird, and sometimes it misleads your audience to what you want really type. But you want to be a uh, project on your slides. <laughs> now, you might be saying, I can see this very well. I love you. But this is just normal. You guys know, you use Google slides, you know there are a lot of a lot more cursive slides out there, right? <coughs> so prevent yourself from doing this, from using this font type. A recommend a reckon a reckon a recommendable font type is area. You can use the rec recommendable, recommended. A recommended font type is uh, Arial, the one provided by Google Slides, or you can use Railway. A font that I always use when I present my slides because you can see the words easily. You can see that, right? You can see the alphabets one by one. So this is how to make your title interesting. Also, to point out is the font color. The color of the font must contrast the background. As you can see, the background color is white, so it is better for you to use the font color to be black. But if you use white font color, for example, If you use a um, uh, uh, green background, for example, but you use green font color, the problem is you cannot see your the audience cannot see your fonts. The audience cannot see your fonts very clearly because of the font color is used. Understand? So avoid being fancy and focus on getting your points across. So this is about title. Thank you. Second, image. Okay, so go on. Okay, yes. Okay, so background image. Choose, choose an image. Okay, so um, why not uh, search, search. Uh, head race. Anything. Uh, head race. Yeah. Why don't search head race? You might see some fabulous pictures of me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Okay, search anything else. 
piano. Eddie. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Uh, pick this picture of a fish. Okay, select. Done. <coughs> Wait for the image to load up. Okay, usually all of you use this uh, this way to uh, put a background to your slides, right? Yeah. yeah. Because it's easier, right? Because, because. Because it's more easier. But what if I tell you, this is actually not the best way to put a background to your slides. This is actually quite the worst way of putting your background to the slides. Uh, new slide, please. Instead of using that way, why don't you use my recommended way? Uh, insert. Image. Search the web. Okay, search piano. Uh, and copy paste, if you will. Uh, insert. Uh, click, click. Can you do it? Click here, click here. Is it? Okay, so now you've inserted the image into your slide. Wait. So, what are you going to do with it? Oh. Firstly, fill the slide uh, with your image. Expand your image until it fills the slide. Slide borders. Yes, stretch it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right click it and go to order, set to back. <laughs> send to back? Order. Send to back. Okay. okay, so now what, what it does is before this, when you insert the image, the image is on top of the title. But now when you send it to the back, you can put your words into the text box. Get it? Ooh. Okay, that's, that's, that's not all. That's not all. Okay, so deselect everything. Deselect. Deselect. Uh, click, click on the image in the background. Yes, click it. Okay, so go to uh, the three dotted lines. The three dotted lines, the three dots. Three dots. From your options. Now, what you're gonna do here is gonna go to recolor. Uh, wait, uh, adjustments. Sorry. Okay. Now you're gonna adjust the transparencies. Just now we've discussed on background. For the second slide, you cannot change the background. So you have your fonts need to uh, needs to change according to the background. But with this. Your background can change to your font, so you don't have to um, <coughs> search endlessly for the perfect font, so the font stands out. In this way, your background can just be more transparent, be more brighter, be more darker, but your fonts can still the same, stay the same. So that's another way of uh, replacing, uh, of putting an image. And okay, it is now. Okay, so. And last but not least is the shapes. Okay, and now new slide. Okay, uh, insert shape and put whatever shape you want. Okay, so next up is shape. So what I'm going to focus on shape is the color of the shape. Usually. When you pick a color of the shape, you're gonna pick these main colors right here, right? Yes, sir. Well, my mom told me that uh, she is a professional uh, consultant. She told me that using these colors is actually unprofessional. Because during the old days, during the computer was a big old box in front of you, they used these primary colors. But, when, but in the 21st century, we must use these new colors that can be created by the computer. That's why it's unprofessional to use these colors nowadays. It's more professional if you use colors that are lighter, darker <coughs> than the main colors. Get it? Yeah. 
it's and it's actually more uh, interesting when you use these kind of colors rather than the main colors that I pointed out. So, in conclusion, conclusion. In conclusion, what am I trying to say here? To make your presentation impactful, to make your audience hear what you say, you must use these useful tips. Number one, the font type and font color. Number two is the background image. And number three is the color of the shapes you use in your slides. And I promise you, if you use my tips, you if you use my tips, you will be as sharp as the tip of a blade. And that's all for me. Thank you.